Hey guys, you're OS and VTXReviews.com. You're watching our video review of the Dustoff Electronics Compressed Gas Duster. This is a lint and, lint and dust remover that's by Dustoff, and it works for all keyboards or any uh, you know accessories and electronics that you want to use it for. It comes in a pack of three and retails for around eight to nine dollars. So if you're inexpensive, you can get it at Staples, get it at Amazon.com, you can even get it on eBay. And again, it's a pretty generic compressed gas duster as far as those are concerned. Um, you have a QR code here, so you can actually scan that and learn more about the specific product if you want to do that. And uh, it works pretty well as far as uh, you know. most uses are concerned. You can use it on automobiles or home workshops to clean off any, any wood, any dust that's collecting on here. You can clean off your uh, dashboard in your car. Or, of course, we're going to use electronics and clean off the keyboard and the dust and the grit that gets collected inside the keyboard when you're typing on it for an extended period of time and you don't clean it out. Um, so it comes in this uh, seven ounce package, which uh, actually lasts for quite a while if you use it sparingly. Of course, if you don't you know, jet it out and then hold on it for five minutes before it runs out. Um, but for most people, it's gonna last for around, I'd say about a dozen times before you have to really replace a can to get a new one and um, of course since it's compressed gas uh, it is slightly hazardous because it's a little bit unstable because it's uh, compressed inside you don't want to apply heat to this thing or shake it too much um, and once it runs out you'll notice it because no more gas will be coming out a uh, thing to know is that if you do too much uh, compressed gas in one area it's going to it's going to cool an area down it's going to actually form ice particles on the side so that's something interesting so you probably have to you know move it around as you're using it um, as far as the nozzle is concerned you just press down and the gas will come out uh, when you first get it the actual uh, tube for um, inserting the tube into more smaller places to get the dust out is actually located on the side here under a piece of tape and um, so you'll have to get it out and then plug it into the actual uh, can nozzle before you start using the product. So I'm going to give you a quick demonstration. It works pretty well for general areas but I have to say that sometimes it isn't very convenient to get small particles out because it doesn't always work. Um, you basically press it, it makes pretty loud noise, but you know you can start using it and um, it gets most of the dust and stuff out. Uh, if we had a specific area that I wanted to show you guys, for example on the screen over here, would that work? Uh, you can see a lot of dust is collecting on the edges of it. You would also put it on the edge and then press it and hopefully See, it gets rid of some of the dust, but also some of it still remains. So you can see it's not too, in a, too effective if it's uh, in too small areas. Uh, a better solution, uh, if you really want to get into those tiny places, would be uh, a more Play-Doh-like solution. We know that. We've reviewed those in the past. Um, but for general areas and larger areas, it does work quite well. It's a little bit hard to get out there. If there were some dust on the buttons on here, we can try that as well. You can see that gets off, gets off quite easily over there as well. There's a little bit of lint. And there we go, we just got it out. Uh, so it's fairly easy to use. It does work, but again, um, it's not as effective on very small areas you, you would expect it to be, but actually isn't. And um, after a few minutes or moments even of using it, you can notice that the entire thing cools off where you can actually see frost forming on it. It gets a little bit uncomfortable to hold and uh, it becomes very cold. Um, you have to wait for it, for it to kind of heat up again before you start using it too much. Um, but anyways, that's just a quick look at dust off this electronics compressed gas duster. It works pretty well for again large uh, larger patches of dust, especially if you see a computer with a lot of dust on the keyboard. It's probably going to work well, but if you have too much dust located in the tiny creaks and crevices of a keyboard or on the edges of a screen, it's not going to work as well as you expect, uh, simply because the dust uh, the gas can't reach. Uh, low enough and actually get everything off uh, considering it's already recessed and you want you know the lint to fly off to the air and not back even deeper into the grooves. So again a very interesting first look at this product. Thanks for watching. Please read a full review on our website osmvtxreviews.com. It's been a first look at the Dust Off Electronics Compressed Gas Duster.